Hello, insiders. Newsflash time. First one on the studio beta, a few creators had reported to us that they were not able to properly see their blocked words in the community tab when they were using the studio beta. The block words were showing as one very long word instead of as individual words. So who did this impact? Uh, creators who use classic to add block words without comma delimiters. Uh, we're happy to announce that our engineers have fixed this and creators who use classic will now be able to see their block words in studio beta as individual words. So that's fixed. Next, um, we had a few questions from creators about the verification badge and want to provide some clarifications. One is the badge isn't supported everywhere. So for example, on mobile. So if you're looking for a badge, make sure you check in a place where it is supported like the desktop web on the channel page. Um, changing your name typically removes the badge that doesn't prevent you from getting it back. It just means that we, don't, we wanna make sure that you change your name and not someone else. Um, no one lost their badge on announcement day. It was just an announcement. Of course, we'll have more information for you about the verification badge as it becomes available. Next, uh, we are continuing to roll out the optional setting that holds potentially inappropriate comments for review as the default for channels to help creators manage their comments at scale and improve conversations on YouTube. When we first launched this feature, Enable channels experienced a 75% drop in flagged comments. And over the past two years, we've, we've had teams focus on expanding the feature to cover 13 languages as well as improve accuracy. Uh, this update will continue rolling out slowly in the coming months. You'll see a message in YouTube Studio when the setting has been enabled for your channel. And as a reminder, this setting is available to all channels. You can turn the setting on or off at any time with the instructions linked in the description below. To learn more, you can read more about this launch in the forum post, which is also linked below. And if you have any feedback uh, about this feature and how it's working for you, we'd love to hear it. Just let us know in the comments. Next, speaking of comments, uh, we are experimenting with moving comments to become more visible to viewers. Uh, users in the experiment will always be able to click to view all comments from the top of the page. Some, but not all videos will show a couple of preview comments before you click on them. Creators can remove comments they don't like through Creator Studio and uh, replace a comment teaser with a pinned comment if they want also can be done from the Studio Beta. Next, Stories Watch Later sticker. To address a top feature request, we are experimenting with a video sticker that creators can add to their story. When tapped, a linked video of the creators choosing is added to the viewers watch later playlist. User research shows viewers prefer stories that have substance and talk more than just promoting your video, which is why the sticker can be only be added once every seven days uh, when linking to one of your videos. And that is it for this week. Lots of stuff going on. Hope it was helpful. In the meantime, keep it real. Are right, you guys still there? Let's do some movies. Last week's movie was Clear and Present Danger, one of my favorites, and the first person to guess it was Teach a Man to Fish. For this week, it's a much more recent movie, and here's the quote. Remove the mask. Everyone has seen you without it. You'd only be feigning anonymity and breathing through spandex for no good reason. So if you know what movie that's from, put it in the comments below. And the first one, we will make sure we give you a shout out next Newsflash. Keep it real.